Hey everybody, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I am going to do part two of my Amazon seller app how-to video, and I'm going to share with you how you find all of the pricing opportunities and where you get all the Amazon fees once you find your product and actually scan it and where all those details come from. Okay, so I'm here on my home screen and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go up to the upper right hand corner and I'm gonna click that camera button and scan my item so that I can get the details. If you're already in the midst of scanning items, you can go to the lower left hand corner of this screen and click the barcode scanner button and that gives you another option to be able to scan your item. There's also another thing you can do from this section. You can actually put list the item directly from your phone off of this. In the bottom right hand corner you can see that list button and you just put in all the details. Okay so this is going to be my example item. This is not something I'm actually selling but it has a lot of details on it I want to share with you. First thing you th see at the very very top is the title of the item which is really nice to know because you can also type this title into your Amazon platform and see are there other is listings that are similar to this and where do I price my item. The other thing that you see is where the hashtag is it says hashtag 5814 that is your sales rank number. It's 5,814 in home, that's the category. The category can be things like toys, clothing, home, uh, health and beauty, different things like that. And the sales ranks are different for each category. So what might be a good sales rank in one category may not be a good sales rank in another category. So just keep that in mind when looking for products. The other thing I wanna share with you is see those stars that are all lit up over on the right hand side just across from the sales rank. Those are um, the rating of this particular object. A lot of people like this one, it's four and a half stars. I definitely don't wanna pick something that's got a lower star rating because that means it doesn't have a good um, customer base with this particular item. But this one's good. And then we'll go into a couple other things on this one page that I want to share with you. The next thing I want to go over is right next to the picture. Do you see that tiny little white box? You always need to look there because there's lots of different things that can be um, shown there. Sometimes there's a hazmat warning. Sometimes there's a, a inventory alert warning. But this little box I want to share with you is exactly um, how Amazon wants this item packaged. Now when I click that little box, this is what I see. It shows me the name of the item. It shows FBA prep requirements. This product requires labeling, which is for most items, but it also wants it to be in a poly bag. You can't just send the thing in like a roll. And so it wants it to be secured inside of a poly bag. So that's a good thing to know when sending it into FBA and always making sure that you check those things. The next thing I want to go over is that first line where you start to see dollar amounts. $9 is what the low price is currently on FBA. And then the fees will cost you $1.35, which makes the total profit for you $7.65. Usually, if this is the first time you've ever scanned this item, those are your merchant fulfill numbers, which means they're not the numbers for Amazon FBA. And I'll show you how to get to those numbers. So why don't we go ahead and click on that first line that says 9, 135, 765, and we'll see what happens on the next screen and then I'll give you more details. Once we've clicked on that line, we're brought to the seller fulfilled options. It gives me all the details. It says the new low price is $3.61. It gives you a shipping credit of $5.39 because you're actually going to ship this item directly from your home, similar to like eBay or Etsy. Um, the other thing uh, it gives you is it, the total price of $9, which you saw on the first screen. The fees are going to be $1.35 and then shipping it to the customer, you can calculate that yourself. Um, and so let's say it costs you $4.50. Well, you made a little bit on shipping because you got a higher shipping credit. And then you can also put your cost of purchase, whatever you paid for the item in there to get your net profit. And so that gives you an idea of what the seller fulfilled items are. Let's click the Amazon fulfilled blue up there in the top right hand corner. And let's see what that screen looks like. On the Amazon Fulfill screen, we see the new low price of $9. Fees with FBA are going to be $8.59. Uh, shipping to Amazon, they don't have a price there, but I usually average anywhere from $0.30 cents to $0.50 cents an item because you do multiple items in one box. The cost of purchase, you can enter in there, and then your net proceeds are going to be $0.41. Cents. So obviously, this would not be an item that I would send in to fulfill by Amazon or to the warehouse because um, I'm just not going to make enough money. 
Now let's talk about that second line. It says 1145 Amazon, which means Amazon itself is selling it. And that's always a bad news for us FBA sellers because they're always going to keep the buy box. And even if we undercut them by two or three dollars, the customer is going to have to click a couple of extra buttons to buy from us instead of buying easily from the first screen from Amazon. And so anytime Amazon sells something, it always is high competition for us. The one bonus though is if you look, it says one from 1150 FBA offers. That means there's only one other FBA or selling it, which means competition as far as FBAers go is much lower. Then it says seven from $9. That means seven people are trying to merchant fulfill this item from their own home and starting at the low price of $9. Now, if I click that second line, it gives me a few more details that are kind of interesting to find out. It brings me to the next page, which shows me all of the offers that are currently available and who is selling them. So um, if I was able to sell in multiple different conditions, it would say any new collectible used and things like that, but only um, any and new are in this one. And so I can only sell this one in new condition. And so that also helps to find out if you find a used something or something from a thrift store, can you actually sell it in this condition? You can hit that second line, the one that talks about Amazon and FBA sellers, and it brings you to this page. When you first jump to this page, it always brings you to the new category. So I'm going to go ahead and click the blue any button up there to see all of the offers because if they were used or collectible, it would show me those as well. So I went ahead and clicked the any button and obviously the screen didn't change much because there aren't any used or collectible conditions, but if there were, these would be showing on this category here. So I'm just going to go back to the product description page and just share with you a few of the things that are at the bottom of the screen. As you can see, it says selling eligibility. You can sell this product in new condition. And sometimes if you click that, you can also see that you can sell it in used. And the other way I showed you on the second line there, you can check to see if you can sell it used. It also gives all the features and details, which is a nice thing to see if you've got something in various different sizes, you can make sure you have the proper one. So this just gives you a few more details about the item to make sure that what you're holding in your hand is exactly what's on the listing. Uh, you want to make sure that it's the exact product in the stock photo. I hope this has been super helpful in showing you some of the details and how I use the Amazon seller app. In my next video, I'm going to go over things like hazmat, inventory alert, and restricted items. And so stay tuned and I'll share with you how do you find out those things just from using your Amazon seller app. And remember in the end, Jesus wins.